So we got a couple other traumas, and these are the, this is what we're going to be talking about or dealing with probably primarily today. Intergenerational trauma general, is general idea of trauma experienced uh, in an earlier generation that have an effect that reached the lives of future generations. Okay? Hmm. This is being accepted fairly new, too. You know, depending on who we're talking about and what group of people we're talking about, some people call that an excuse in a generational trauma. Get over it. Okay? And it was interesting, it's interesting what, when we talk about get over it, it depends on who's talking about getting over it. You know, I mean, we're in the United States of America, and we still don't get over certain things that happened in 1776 which still has an effect on how we deal with people and deal with each other. Um, historical trauma, or collective trauma, is an example of in, uh, intergenerational trauma that is caused by targeting a group of people. Thus, even family members who are not directly experienced the trauma are actually affected by that trauma. And any time you have a question or whatever, just let me know or Stop me. Okay. Now, um, intergenerational transmission of trauma is relatively recent in terms of the focus. It first started being observed in 1966 and around uh, Holocaust survivors. How uh, children of the Holocaust survivors, grandchildren, they're, they're, how they're indirectly affected by having family members who survived. And part of that is, is like how the family members treat them. Like the family members say, if you, when they went through the Holocaust, they don't talk about it. And just because you don't talk about something don't mean you don't act it out. You know, where, where you know, you might have that extra precaution about where your child goes or who the child goes with. Now, you didn't talk about it. But you still act it out, and that still has a, now, so if I'm always being coddled as a child, that has an effect on me, even if I don't always understand that effect. So, uh, so and, and people are more comfortable when you talk about this ideal intergenerational trauma, when you're talking about the Holocaust, because it's, it's been there, we've talked about it, you've seen it, it's been examined. Mm -hmm.